Hey guys, Colton here. Welcome back to another Raid Shadow Legends video. So today we're on Sailor's account for a Clan Boss takeover. And immediately when I saw the amount of Cardiels that this account had, I thought, okay, we're doing a fun team for this one. We're going to try and get over 100 million for this account using Cardiel, at least one of them. And then he can do whatever he wants with the other two. Cardiel is one of the void legendaries that I really want on my main account and whenever I see them on other accounts or showcases online from other creators I'm so jealous and I'm like I really want this void if you guys don't know what this champion does let me give you a quick look again and just get you to become envious of what Cardiel does really has this A2 skill which applies a block debuffs and a revive on death for two turns on a three turn cooldown and also does a cleanse which is insane for any speed tuning that you would want he's got an a3 that places a critical rate and critical damage up and then does a team up on a four turn cooldown does a team with all of the allies so if you're on hydra he can do it with all the other five allies and attack on the enemy and also decreases the cooldown of this skill by one turn if an enemy is killed from this attack so this can be insane in blender setups or at least it was before they got nerfed he has a passive where allies receive 20 percent less damage from champions from the demon spawn and dead hordes or night driven and factions and whenever an ally attack has a 15 percent chance to team up with them and join the attack this is actually insane to give you just more damage and the better you build Cardiel, the better he becomes in terms of damage potential, at least for the clown ball setup that we've built for today. And his A1 also does a heal and places a true fear. So this is why I really want this guy. And also he's a mean looking angel, really reminds me of the Diablo three days when I was playing that game um, with all those angels, especially on Act 4. If you guys ever played Diablo, you'll know what I mean. So. Let me just show you what I've done to the account. As you see on the silver on the top, it's evaporated. There's no more silver in the account. We didn't have much gems or silver to work with, uh, but the account is stacked in terms of champions and I had freedom over moving gear around. So I thought, okay, let's push this to the limit and, and make this build possible. So let me show you the speed tune and the champions required. This is not an easy build to do. And the, the speeds are of course, really dependent on what you have available as you can move those around as well and make something better there is a another speed with cardiel where you can go for even higher speeds with him but uh, let me just show you what i've done and all those speeds for this specific build so we have cardiel seeker ninja demitha and lydia these are the required champions for this specific setup you don't need ninja i would say in terms of damage it can be any damage dealer but ninja really shines with an attack up buff critical rate up buff critical damage up buff and the um ally attacks help but it can make it tricky with the speed tuning but it still works for this one and um really as he racks up his attack because of ninja's passive he becomes crazy with as much attack as you can give him it, it just can become an insane damage dealer for this specific setup but starting out um these are the speeds 184 on cardiel make sure that you follow these speeds strictly um at least when you start out and then you can move them up by single digits try it out on the calculator and see it by yourself if you can go up a little bit on the values as you can see you can go to 185 or 186 187 you can go like this 190 but make sure this also keeps working um on difficulties such as nightmare and brutal in, in case you break it if you take it too high it might still work on ultra nightmare but it might break on the other difficulties so have fun with the calculator for that one guys and a ck we have him at a 204 speed 203 speed i think i had him at 204 still worked fine and of course we always delay with ck for cardiel we just have priority on his a2 i'll show you guys the ai setup in a bit we have a ninja at a 266 demitha at a 297 and finally lydia at a 304 so quite fast on on many of these champions but it's doable if you have an account that has been playing for some time all right if you're looking for high damage then you need to be uh, going for some time and as you can see right here all of the champions are speed tuned by turn count two here with the Mitha doing her block every single time right here at the bottom and we also have cardiel blocking 
the um the debuff so it's spirit affinity friendly and it's also blocking the uh the stun here right before the third time the boss calls for the big stun so have that in mind when you're building it out check that everything works as intended and as it's looking right here for the video make sure that it is like so because it will not um be an unkillable team if the method does not do her block right at the end you will die and you will ask questions in the video why is my team not working i followed everything you must have messed up something it's the masteries usually and uh, but let's have a look at everything right now the gearing and all of it and for spirit affinity before you guys ask we can just simply do this and give priority to cardiels a1 for the first turn so we delay the a2 and the a3 Cardiel will do his A1 and he'll do his A2 right here and basically protect the team from everything. And you'll see that everything is set up as properly with Demetha doing the block um, block damage buff right there at the end. And everybody else being protected by the end of the run. So make sure you follow this for Spirit. You can set up even a second team right there uh, on your custom AI and it all will work just fine like that. Cardiel right here, I've built him with Cruel Sets at the 184 speed, 70% crit since he's boosting it up and 261 crit damage with 5,000 attack. We're lacking a little bit on the accessories on this one, but what you're looking for generally when building these high-end setups is critical rate, attack percent on the substats so that you can get those high stats up for the primary damage dealer and also get them to either 100% crit rate or 70% depending on if you got a critical rate up. Cruel sets really work. Uh, Savage sets also work, but of course, if you're building a clan boss team and you're using your best Savage set, then your new current champion for Arena might be missing out. It all depends on personal preference and how you see each part of the game and where you want to focus, get more damage and all that good stuff. Um, of course, maxed out in terms of skills and masteries pretty much for everyone. We went like so with Warmaster and went down the support tree with Steadfast Marshall. This helps also with stun targeting, okay? Next up, we have Ninja. Let's have a look at Ninja. Uh, we'll have a look at Lydia as well in a little bit. Ninja, again, same kind of masteries. I even went for Lore of Steel. Doesn't really break it um, if you have it and you're careful with your speeds and perception sets. Obviously, here again with Cruel Sets, if I could get it to 266 speed, it would have been great. I kept Ninja at 100% crit and 234 crit damage. Um, I should maybe lower this to 70%. I, I might be able to get even higher and get his accuracy higher so you can use Ninja in other parts of the game. Um, but I, I definitely run out of silver for that one. And then we have Lydia right here with the speed and perception at a 304 speed as i said 70 percent crit 205 crit damage i couldn't push it much with the accuracy being so high this is for other parts of the game which i wanted to keep it consistent since lydia is really good for other parts as well and so not just clan boss of course maxed out every single champion here that you see is maxed out and the same build pretty much as ninja with lord of steel even um for her and then let's go to Demitha and Seeker. And that's pretty much it, really, for, for the champions. For this Seeker, we went the defense tree for retribution, although it doesn't proc. I could have gone support tree here. Doesn't really matter. And, and get Lord of Steel to make it a little bit better. But Seeker is in a toxic set, so we get a little bit of damage out of the toxic set. As I said, 204, 205, 203 speed is okay. 100% um, crit rate on Seeker because he does give that double turn. And you will see that the buffs will expire. He doesn't get them extended as the other champions. And 221 on crit damage. This was the best I could with 4,000 attack um, with toxic sets. And then finally, we have the Mitha who doesn't even have masteries. But you can follow whatever all the other champions had. She's level 34. Just got to 6 stars. And uh, of course, maxed out and everything. And... What you need basically on her is the speed. If you can't get the speed, forget about crit rate and crit damage. Just get the speed as I did right here. And um, Demitha anyway will not do insane amounts of damage. She's just there for her utility. Even with the best gear, you may, might go to 5 or 6 million damage. But that's pretty much it for her. She, she won't go more than that. And it's pretty much a waste. 
if you ask. So before we get onto the clown balls, let me show you the custom AI that I've set up for this one. We have Cardiel there on the leader spot, of course, for the speed that he provides to everyone. Priority on A2 and then A3. We have Lydia, the same thing. Priority A2, A3. Ninja, same thing. You have Seeker, obviously, with Opener on his A1. This is like the thing we always do in clown ball setups. And priority on his A2, although he would do it anyway. Just add it there. Doesn't hurt. And then the Mitha opening up with her A1. Priority on A2. And then second priority on her A3. And this is pretty much it. You click on run. And you'll see on how the team um, goes from the start. It is an insane team in terms of requirements. But if you want a lot of damage you need to build your teams in such a way with high speeds and high stats and everything to get the the most out of everybody really so you see the block debuffs already applied by um by cardiel right from the start but the mitha goes in there with the a2 and extended the block debuffs to three turns which makes this team affinity friendly you'll see on that second aoe that everybody, I'll put it on a 1x speed, that everybody will have still the block debuffs buff on them, which will enable the team. So block debuffs, block debuffs on every single one of them. I think Lydia didn't have it actually there. So I might have to check that. But um, this becomes affinity friendly. And if you have any issues on Spirit, you can just have, um, have Cardiel open up with his A1 skill. And then the A2 and A3. And this will become affinity friendly, especially on Spirit. It's just that the stun might be might be tricky there. And you have to have a look at there. Uh, but it will never go on Ninja or Seeker. And it will probably go on Cardiel, which um, I don't think it will even go on Cardiel. So this is the team. Let, let this go for a little bit. And we'll see on how much damage we can get by the end of it.
just like that as you can see cardiel well let me move my head a little bit but 34 million damage uh alongside his team of course it's it's a it's a teamwork uh that makes the dream work right um so ninja does a lot of damage of course and the, as you scale up ninja's damage you can get insane amounts in this clan boss setup i've seen over 200 million actually with this setup so i wouldn't be surprised if you can push the gear even more with this one but it's really cardiel that really helps the team go where it, uh, where it does with the critical rate up with the ally attack and of course with the block debuffs which enables it to be affinity friendly so this was the video thanks a lot for watching subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you guys in the next one see ya